So for today, we're going to be looking at the Tekken's Regalia armor set. This is the seasonal ornament from Season of Defiance. Definitely a really cool armor set. Also, I do apologize if you guys hear my PS5 in the background because I have uh, Resident Evil 4 downloading right now. And you guys can check that playthrough out in my second channel, Fix Tony Plays. That's where I usually play all of the non Destiny 2 stuff. And like currently right now, I think I'm uploading Dead Space 2. Uh, we should be finishing that. And then after that, I will be editing the Resident Evil 4 playthroughs. And I have other games as well. So just to give you myself a little plug there. But for this one, we're going to be looking at Tekken Regalia. Again, this is the seasonal ornament from Season of Defiance. If you are in the future, unfortunately, this is no longer available. But we're going to be looking at how it sh how the armor looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts on it. And that's pretty much it. The individual sets for the pieces for the classes will come in a later date, most likely within this week, just because I already have them done. I just have to like edit them in a way where it's nice and presentable. And then after that, do the voiceover and then I'm done. Like I literally have all of the armor done. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate you guys. Other than that, let's look at the armor. So the Tekken's Regalia set is an interesting armor set because I think this is probably the most non-Destiny 2 armor we have in the game right now. And what I mean by that specifically is just that I, when I first saw this armor, I immediately thought of like World of Warcraft, uh, specifically like for the helmet for the hunters. I, I, I like promise you there's a helmet in WoW that looks like this helmet. Uh, it's also just the fact that the, a lot of this armor looks very big. So... We're going to be going through the Hunter Titan and then Warlock will be last. Hunters, I think the helmet is pretty cool. I definitely can use it in certain sets. I mean, I use all of all of the armor for the Hunter in the individual pieces, and I think the helmet came out pretty good. For the cloak, I think the cloak is super, super cool. Definitely, definitely dope. The chest piece, I actually think is really cool as well. I hate the, the fact that he's wearing three belts. I don't understand why he's wearing three belts, but everything else is super dope i love the two uh pieces of cloth on each side i love the fact that that's symmetrical because it does make it look really really cool the belt on the abdomen is really cool as well overall i think the chest piece is probably the best piece from the whole set the arms i'm gonna be real with you guys i hate the shoulder pad on the right side i think that piece is just too big i think it's just not like when you see the whole armor as a whole it's like all right cool like i, I can see why everything looks like very fluid the aren't the like the shoulder pad thing just does not look fluid with the rest of the armor set the fact that like it's hanging from the arm like that it just i don't think it looks good if i'm being quite honest i think the arm should have been a little bit more inside the shoulder so that way it could actually look like it's actually on the shoulder and not just like floating on the shoulder i think that's like my biggest gripe about the arms it's not even about the fact that it's asymmetrical i um, this is a hunter we we know that we never get symmetrical arms this is the cross we bear because someone at bungie just loves asymmetry they have the biggest boner for it and i mean who am i to say uh that shit looks like trash because i'm tired of saying it uh other than that i think the left arm is super cool i would not have complained if the left arm was just how the arms looked in general like for both sides i think that would have been really cool for the boots i think the boots are very usable as well Granted, it is asymmetrical, but I think it does a better job because the shoulder or not the shoulder, but the uh, thigh armor piece looks like it's actually on the thigh and not like the arms where it's like it looks like it's just floating. So that's why I actually do like the boots quite a bit uh, for the Titans. I think the helmet is super cool. I think the arms are kind of basic and has the same problem as the hunter pauldron where it just looks like it's floating. Granted, I mean, I guess it's better than having really, really big shoulder pads but this is also a female titan so male titans might have just gotten big shoulder pads as well the chest piece i think is really really good i really like the shoulder or the chest piece a lot that being said i will still always stick to the thing where i think the best titan chest pieces are the ones that cover like the back of the neck just because for me that makes a titan look like more formidable for the mark i think it looks kind of basic i'm gonna be real with you guys uh, it's just the dick cloth and not a very good one at that. It's too thick on the waist. I think it's just too much uh, volume there. Other than that, I mean, it's eh, it's fine. Like it's it doesn't wow me uh, for like if I'm being quite honest, I think the mark could have been a, li a little bit different. I think instead of like the one dick cloth, you guys could have had like small like uh, 
small like not small strings but like a small cloth on each side i don't know i just think the the really big dick cloth is not that great especially since it just looks massive on the actual like hips and whatnot it just looks too big and then the boots i think are probably the best piece from the whole set uh just because they look good like le legitimately and then for the warlock i can tell you guys right now that helmet is uh god awful it reminds me of the what is it? eldar from world or not world of warcraft it it reminds me of the eldar from 40k and if you guys don't know they're like the dumbest looking at least their armor is the dummy looking shit most of the time uh mostly because it's just like big ass forehead so that's like why i'm not a fan of the helmet even though i do like the helmet it's just that's the first thing i thought of when i first saw it uh the chest piece is the best piece like let's be real i love the fact that the like it has almost like a crown feel because when you look at the back you have this like really cool um almost like a like a collar but it looks super super cool i really really like it um my only gripe is i you know what it is it's i think it's just the shoulder pads for all of the classes it just look bad i don't like the the shape of them most of the time i think the titan one's probably the best one but the warlock one i'm not a fan of just because it kind of looks like it's just floating there uh but it does a better job at like looking like it's there compared to like the hunter one so i guess i can't complain too much the arms very very cool unfortunately they're really big so unless you're combining this with another piece that like has either big arms or big shoulder pads then it's just going to look like your arms are eating your chest piece and then the boots are probably the coolest part that being said you definitely will have to find a good chest piece to combine it with because most of the time uh if you don't combine it with a good chest piece then it's just going to look like your boots are just too big and bond usually bonds are really boring this one is no exception i mean it is cool that you get like a sword with the queen's insignia i think it was but other than that it's like whatever to be quite honest like i'm not a big fan of it so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think now let's actually talk about the big elephant in the room because i have not spoken about it in the gems on each like all of the classes have this blue gemstone um hunter doesn't have too much of it it's just like on um, pieces of the arms pieces of the boots and then i think one piece on the chest piece uh that's it for the titan it's fucking everywhere the arms have it there's a lot on the pauldron a lot on the arms the two on the chest piece the fucking six on the helmet and then like the seven eight ten i don't even know how many there are in the actual boots the warlock also has quite a bit on the arms there's like i think four no there's like five on each side uh the boots have like two four six probably actually ten on each of the boots the warlock has uh, on the helmet especially has like one two three there's one on the chest piece the gemstones don't fucking change color and it's quite fucking aggravating because now you're stuck with blue and again i don't have a problem with like gemstones and whatnot just let me change their fucking color and it's it's wild to me because people would probably be like well how would they how would it take shaders just treat it like it's a fucking glow like any 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 color that a glow would take just translate that to the gemstones because now you're stuck with this blue gemstone and unfortunately there's just going to be some colors that just look fucking weird with it as you guys will see when we show as you guys will see when I show you the shaders, I'm not going to speak upon it too much. I'll, I will explain some of my more favorite shaders after we're done looking at them. But let me just show you guys real quick.
So yeah, unfortunately, I just think it the fact that the ju the blue gemstones don't change color is like the biggest L just because again, you're stuck with that blue gemstone. And for me, like the best one was a cryptic insignia just because the cryptic insignia already has blue in there specifically with that like teal blue and with the glow as well. It's just very unfortunate because now you're going to have to fight that on top of like the armor already being like super duper bougie like not only are you gonna have to have armor that looks really good with the whole set but then you have to shade her in a certain way so that way it also looks good with the blue gemstones and even then there's armor that sets that don't have gemstones so now it's just gonna be like why do the boots only have gemstones and not everything else like it's just gonna look super off when you combine it with other non uh, pieces that don't have gemstones and i know a lot of people are gonna be like well i'm just gonna wear the whole armor set like i don't care that's fine. Do you? I just don't like doing that. I don't usually I don't like to have like a whole armor set at all. Like I usually like to mix and match armor sets and sometimes mix and mix and match shaders. This one, it's going to be really, really hard to do that. I'm actually probably never going to do that because the blue gemstones is just such such an eyesore and such a nu nuisance that I'm probably just never going to attempt to do that. Uh, which is unfortunate because I think a lot of these pieces are super cool, but it's just why, why, dude? Like it's uh, it's probably some of the most like regal looking armor we've had in the game, and of course you hit us with the gemstones don't change color, so fuck you, and it's just quite unfortunate. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, I like this armor a lot. It's just the gemstone, unfortunately, not changing color does really mean that it's gonna be uh, limiting for me which means I most likely won't be using this a lot. Uh, that being said, I will probably just use pieces of the Hunter set because a lot of that set doesn't have a lot of gen spells like the other two classes. Though They got fucked hard because there's just so many gem spells and so many pieces that I just can't in good conscience tell you that this is a banger of an armor when most of the time you're going to be fighting the gemstones and most of the time the actual regali, like the regalness of the armor, most people are just going to put all of the armor on and just call it a day and honestly i can't even fault you on it because it's just unfortunate that they did this so let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later